Good morning, Internet. Craig Chamberlain here with CraigTheTechTeacher.com. And this show is powered by patrons. So I want to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys for supporting the show and continuing it to grow. Remember, IT Life is a place where you guys can ask questions and I can give you answers. And it, I give you answers from the real world of IT because I've been in IT for 10 years, been doing YouTube content creation for about six years. And <clears throat> let's face it. There's a lot going on out there, and it's very hard to keep track. And speaking of a lot going on out there, and speaking of trying to keep track, my computer locked up on me two times today. You would think that I would have this under control. You'd think I would never run into tech problems. The truth is, is tech guys break their stuff more than everybody else does. We just are really good at hiding it and fixing it before people even know. Greg, why don't you ever have any problems? Believe me, I have problems. Top patrons for this month are... Jacob Williams with wildacademy.com. If you're interested in programming or web design or Ruby programming in particular, check him out at wildacademy.com. Or if you just want to meet an interesting guy who's talking about a lot of different things in the tech world as well as just in the world. Um, also, check out Precision Electric, which is where I'm filming this at precision-elect.com. Industrial Service Center for Industrial Motor Drive, Electronic, Circuit Board, all that fun repair work, as well as drive sales. Okay, so IT Life uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about developing good habits. Because yesterday, I asked if you guys were creatures of habit. And I had talked about how I am a creature of habit. <clears throat> and then a lot of people, were, a couple of people came back and they said, well, yeah, I'm kind of a creature of habit. I actually have trouble developing habits. A couple of people came back and said, yes, I cannot deviate from my, cannot deviate from my habits. That would be bad, right? And so... And so that kind of got me thinking, the truth is, is I haven't always been a creature of habit. And then so this really brings up the issue of developing habits and developing good habits in particular, because this isn't something that just happens. Right. And so I think people get it in their head that people who are part of a routine or they they're productive or they get a lot of things done. They they just woke up one morning and then, boom, they were just that productive. And it's just simply not the case. Uh I was, I am still notorious for being disorganized and, and a lot of what I do now is try to, try to develop good habits. And, and there's a couple strategies I can talk about with how I do that. Uh, the the to-do list was one of them. I bring that up quite often on the show because the to-do list is like a godsend for me because I, I am a guy who, like I said, bad habit is, is something like not being able to focus is one of my bad habits. So as a result, I have, I actually started implementing the to-do list at the suggestion of my father who realized I was all over the place, all over the map. And so I started developing the to-do list because it, it helps me keep focused on, okay, this is what needs to be done. And this is what needs to be focused on. And everything else has to wait because I'll work on something for a short period of time and then I'll get bored with it. Uh, and that's just my personality. That's how I've always been. Uh, I call it the honeymoon phase. And so I have, I have a honeymoon phase for just about everything that I do, including even IT life. And so for years, I tried to get better at this. And the problem is <clears throat> when you're starting to develop habits, they say on average it takes about 40 days or six weeks to develop a habit. So if you're trying to develop a good habit, remember the honeymoon phase, honeymoon phase is a week, maybe two. So that last four weeks, so you have a window of about four weeks in which it's going to be, it's, it's going to suck. Like, it's like, it's all exciting and fun when you first start doing something that's good for you. Like, we all know what we should be doing, but we don't do it. That's just human nature. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's a universal truth myself. Um, but if we want to get into the habit of doing those things, we have to get past the honeymoon phase and then we have to push or I use the term lean in for the next four weeks to really start to develop those positive habits. And it is so much tougher to do than it is for me to sit here and say to do. You know, you think about all, all the people who start doing a workout program or they start a diet or they start uh, doing, you know, either something like uh, they'll read a book every night or uh, something motivational or they'll uh, like in my case, they'll wake up at the same time every morning or try to wake up at the same time every morning. You know, and what you do is you pump yourself up. You're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to make it all the way through. And, and you do it. You do make it through the first week. Then you make it through the second week. Then the honeymoon phase goes away. Then 
it starts to set in that that you then the motivation is no longer there it dies off and so when you want there's a conversion that takes place at that point you have to do something like like a leaning in and that's where you have to lean in and start to force yourself don't use this head don't use your head at that point once you're at the two week phase you have to stop thinking about it and you just have to force yourself to do it and you lean in for the next four weeks or so and then it does literally start to become a part of your routine and so this is something that i think everybody struggles with in everything you know and, and this is just like a universal truth for people leaning in is as far as my generation is concerned is one of the we, one of our biggest weaknesses because we are so there's so many new exciting things to 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 constantly be in the honeymoon phase and this is really where i was at you know in my head i was always in that honeymoon phase with stuff so i would i would be interested in something for two weeks technology a new piece of software or whatever and then I would get bored with it. And then I would just rather than stick with it and make it into a habit and learn how to use it and really kind of dig, dig in, uh, I would just bounce to a different piece of technology. So like my whole like whole like for five, six years, that's how I was. I would bounce from thing to thing. And then I learned that I wasn't acquiring any of those really deep rooted skills. I was I was actually be developing a superficial understanding of a lot of different stuff and and what really struggles with me now is is I'm doing this Windows series, right? And I'm I've actually just finished the honeymoon phase, so now I'm in the uh, now I've got to do this phase. You know, it was exciting when I first started doing it, but I'm going to keep doing it, right? Because I was like, if I just I got to force myself to do it. I still like doing it once I start doing it, but once you start thinking about it, you're like, man, I don't want to do it, and that's part of the deal. I mean, this is if I wanted to become a habit and it is a good habit because it's helping people and it's helping myself and it's helping the show and it's helping everything so there's really no reason not to do it other than it doesn't feel good right or it doesn't it doesn't excite me anymore uh that's the only reason to walk away from it and uh developing those habits has that four week window of oh i don't want to do this but i'm gonna make myself do it anyway so I would encourage you guys, if you really struggle with this habit forming thing, this good habit forming thing, remember people with bad habits, the same exact way. They didn't wake up one morning and develop bad habits, just like with you. You didn't wake up one morning and develop a bad habit. What happened was is for six weeks straight, you used it as a habit. I mean, this is, this is how the major sugar companies, the major junk food companies, the major gaming companies get their claws in you they know if they can get your attention for six weeks they can keep you excited about something for six weeks you're you're on the hook you know and it's like that for the caffeine it's like that for sugar don't get me wrong i'm the caffeine buff but th that's how these companies really really make a lot of money uh the starbucks of the world uh it's got nothing to do with taste guys sorry to break it to you you can tell me it's great coffee all day long but there is not coffee in the world that is great enough to justify four dollars per cup you know it, it became they made you what they did is you can just read the business model by the way this isn't a secret they developed a culture around the product and then they got people to to soak themselves in the culture and then people become part of the culture for four to six weeks and then it becomes a part of themselves it becomes a habit and this is really how a lot of the biggest most successful companies they're manipulating you. You know, it's marketing. That's what marketing is. And uh, so the question is, are they a good habit or are they a bad habit? You know, and that's up to you. That depends on you. I can't make that decision for you. So that's my topic of today, developing good habits and uh, leaning in. And I still got so many bad habits I'm on learning. Um, so don't think that I'm sitting here saying, I figured it all out. Uh, because for every one good habit I've developed, I've usually developed another bad one. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming out again. This is IT Life. And I want to give a quick shout out here to my patrons. Because the patrons are the ones who make this happen, guys. And uh, if you're not yet a patron, there are a ton of benefits to becoming a patron. Including VIP access to me. And, um, and it really is its kind of a cool thing. Because I can sit here and focus on making content just for you guys. You know what I mean? So I, I don't have to worry about uh, the monetization platform 
and um, and all that great stuff. Uh, let me see what we have here for our patron list. I'll give a quick shout out here too. We have uh, Rob Steiner, Steiner, uh, Carlos Trevelli, Mike Weger, uh, Mike Weger, who's actually uh, working on his own video content, uh, Jake Gardner, Robert Driscoll, uh, Jeff C, Mark Ferrasi, of course, Adrian Cueva. John Camacho, Gregory Scott Whaley, Ron Hahn, Lina Bate Johnson, Randy Hilarski, uh, Rob, William J. Fowler, Angela Martin, Kevin Bragdon, uh, My Music Hangout, John Miru, Matthew Broussard, Jacob Williams, Ryan Gao, Kristen Drysdale, Joe Ray, and Justin. Uh, thank you guys for making this happen. I'm thinking about putting up a screen back here, similar to what Chris Perillo does, where I can rotate you guys in maybe certain via, uh, certain certain patrons will get like extended times and urls and things like that depending on what level they're on but i can still give everybody kind of credit here on my back wall plus it'll kind of look cool like put up whatever i want whenever i want thank you guys for coming out and hey until next time don't be mastered by the machine and keep working on those good habits i'll see you in the next video